How's it going guys? JP back at you once again bringing you guys another review. This time we are reviewing the 1987 John Carpenter film Prince of Darkness. I had never seen this film before. It's one of the few John Carpenter films that I still needed to check out so I finally got around to doing so. This film follows Donald Pleasance's character who is a priest and he wants to investigate this abandoned church in Los Angeles. He brings with him a group of grad students who are dealing with psychic phenomena. They investigate this church in the basement. They find a vat of green liquid kind of a cylinder glass container with this green substance in it that is later found out to be the essence of the devil himself. When released he sort of turns people into zombies. This green substance turns people into these zombie-like creatures and we find out that if not stopped it will release the devil's father and take over the entire world. So it's up to them to kind of stop it. Right away I gotta say this film is very eerie and creepy. I love the setting, the location in and around the church. Definitely has this claustrophobic, condensed, contained vibe to it where you have these uh, large group of characters stuck in this building and they're turning into these zombie-like creatures. They're more of a voodoo style zombie where they are not trying to eat each other, they're just completely controlled, mind controlled, and they're, you know, killing each other with these uh, weapons, you know, scissors or even a bike actually. This film does feel uh, very small in scale, but John Carpenter using his, you know, directing technique and cinematography score really makes it feel bigger than it deserves to be. It feels like a bigger budget film. From what I understand, it was a very low budget film, but John Carpenter has always been able to make his films look so good, whether they are, you know, high budget films or the lower tiered budget films. So props to John Carpenter. The film looks and sounds great. A lot of great wide shots. Carpenter is a master at, at, at filmmaking and you know it definitely shows in Prince of Darkness. It's a very slow film. Uh, not a whole lot happens. There are some scenes of gore but they're few and far between. I was really hoping to see a little bit more out of the zombies, maybe make them a little bit more creature-like or gored up, disfigured, stuff like that. I was kind of hoping to see something along the lines of the thing out of these uh, zombie type uh, beings. The story overall is, is it's kind of a little weak, but it, 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 it fits and it makes sense. It's, it's a nice religious horror. I, I, it was interesting seeing John Carpenter do something like that, but I really was kind of just hoping that it escalated and got, you know, super crazy towards the end and it never really did. It is a solid watch. I loved the eerie and almost scary atmosphere that this film created. I wanted to see a little bit more out of the story idea itself. Uh, a little bit more devilish or demonic presence would have been cool. So John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness, I give a 6.5 out of 10. It's a solid watch. Check it out.